Lucky, lucky me. I finished filming Romaniacs. Now it's time for two weeks of dirt fun in the Carpathian Mountains. Endless climbs and descents, stunning views. <laughs> and you can ride just about anywhere. But first I have to get there. Bloody Australia, miles from anywhere. Three flights and 24 hours later, I arrive in Romania. My host for this trip, Carpathian Adventures. And they have renovated this beautiful old farmhouse and I'll be riding with a mad bunch of New Zealanders the next few days. I well, hope no one judges me too harshly, but I am gonna be putting the old steg pegs on the bike. And man, do I need the steg pegs. There are endless hill climbs around here. Even with the steg pegs, my upper body is aching each night. I doubt I would get a full day's ride in without my favorite crutch. The first surprise, most enduro tours are based in town. So you need to ride for at least 30 minutes on roads to get to the tracks. But our farmhouse is in this beautiful little village barely changed for hundreds of years. And the various tracks are between 30 seconds to one minute from our doorstep. Incredible. And the hill climb starts immediately. There are plenty of options. Easy roads you can drive up, ridiculously difficult single track. Well, we have chosen the middle path and it's just tricky enough to be interesting. Eventually the climb stops and the views start. Centuries ago, the shepherds cleared the forests on top of these mountains for their sheep flocks. Romanians are famous for their hospitality and it really shows when you're on a dirt bike. Much of the time, we are riding on their land. Well, back home, we would be dodging bullets from angry farmers. But here, the shepherds just wave and say, Buna. For anyone interested, our guide said this descent is pretty typical of a tough bronze descent in Romaniacs, or maybe an easy one in silver class. So you need your wits about you, mm -hmm. even riding the relatively easy oh, bronze class. Most of us are in our 40s or 50s, so by mid-afternoon, we are dreaming of that hot tub back at the farmhouse and a handful of anti-inflammatory medication. So, it's back to base. Bugger 21st century technology when it comes to spas. This is wood-fired. Yes. And this is how you generate the bubbles. And combined with the drugs from the doctor himself, ibuprofen and... Diflofenac. Diflofenac. <laughs> when you're 48 years old, it works really well. This this man is going to make a fortune at the next Romaniac <laughs> selling, what, these tablets for $100 each? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, doctor. 